Hey everybody, this is what happens to my hair when it's finals week. So yeah, um, originally I wasn't going to do a video because I am currently working on a 20 page paper due on Saturday. And as you notice, whoop, other way. I had to cover Edward because he's been flipping out and I think it's because he can sense how stressed I am so he's been all over the place and I can't concentrate but whatever um, but I have a book that I wanted to do a review on and I was debating whether or not um, I should do a book review on this and I decided um, with encouragement from patients that I would do the book I want to warn everyone that the book talks about sex and um, may not be appropriate for younger viewers. Viewer discretion is advised. Um, there won't be anything graphic. I won't be showing any pictures. Um, so it's not that bad. <laughs> so the book is called, Ooh, I Love Female Orgasm. Um, an Extraordinary Orgasm Guide. I've read a lot of books. Um, about this and I think this is definitely the best one and the reason I'm reviewing it um, even though I'm sure it's written for adults I think that teenagers should know their own bodies before they start doing stuff what I like most about the book is that it's not some like raunchy guide to like better sex and like full of pictures there's like no pictures in the book it's all mostly text um, also what I like about it is that it's like down to earth and very honest. It's not about how to have better sex, more that tips of how to have better relationships with your partner. Um, and most of it is all about communication, you know, instead of just expecting your partner to know everything, um, you know, because they watch porn or something, which is not a good, accurate portrayal of sex. Instead, to have open communication with them, say, I like this, you like this, you know, let's try and do what each other like. Also, um, it's very big on self-image, and there's a chapter in here, um, <laughs> he's making noise, even if it's covered. Um, there's a chapter in here somewhere where it's kind of like, um, uh, women, um, it's something like oral sex on women and why women are so afraid of having men perform oral sex on them and it's all about um, self-image and how the media has been making women feel like they're dirty and that they you know they don't have a good relationship with their organs and blah 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 and it's just it's really enlightening to have um, excerpts from real women in the book saying you know their fears and their doubts and how they overcame that um, they also have tips on sex with yourself, which is um, really helpful because they make it so it's like, this is not, you know, the one norm. There are so many different ways that you can do it, but so many different, you know, helpful tools or just yourself or, you know, like you could do this and this and this. And it's really just kind of pushing you to understand yourself and not so much, you know, following that one norm. Um, so that's why I really like this book. Um, it's very open and it's very real. There's also in the back um, a section on like homosexual relationships and how um, that affects the orgasm. There's also a um, section for transgenders um, and how that affects the orgasm. Um, pregnancy is in here, birth control. Um, protection, vibrators, um, positions, different kinds of sex, uh, advice. There's also, um, like a hygiene section, so, um, what to note, well, keep your eye out for it in case something is wrong. Um, and yeah, uh, the two authors, Dorian and Marshall, they actually came to my school to lecture on it and I really liked them because they were funny first of all and they weren't shy of saying 
what was on their minds and like bringing awareness to the children and also um dorian who was the i think the one that got the whole thing started she was saying how um she would masturbate and that led to her finding out that she had breast cancer because she was like touching herself and she just kept saying over and over again that if she was afraid to touch herself like most women are taught in schools and in families then she would have never found out that she had cancer and she probably wouldn't have done as well as she did um and i guess that's why i really like the book so much because it preaches being okay with your body and being open with yourself and just exploring and understanding yourself because the more you understand yourself the least the less likely other people are going to take advantage of you or um, do something that you don't like or anything. Um, and I also think that an open body is an open mind, that if you're not afraid or you make things taboo, then you're more likely to accept other things. So who would I recommend this to? I would recommend this to um, anyone who is in a relationship, anyone who's thinking about going into a relationship. Um, Personally, I would probably give it to my son or daughter if, you know, between the ages of 16 and 20, if they're in a relationship. Because when kids go off to college, they're going to experiment, and I'd rather them know everything than come home and tell me that they're pregnant because they didn't know about birth control. Um, schools don't do a very good job at preparing kids, so I would want to be the one to give my kids the tool. Also, uh, they made this analogy while they were lecturing to the school about how you go through driver's ed and you know how all the parts work, you know all the safety precautions, you know that you're putting on your seatbelt um, will save your life, you know how to change the oil, um, instead of just saying, you could die from driving a car, never drive, which is, of course, an analogy for the abstinence-only sex ed. Um, I thought it was quite, quite clever. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, for the younger teens, um, unless they are, you know that your child is sexually active, I don't think that they need to read this. Um, only because I know that when I was younger, I was just like, whatever, I have to study for school. I don't have time for this. So, yeah. Um, I would definitely recommend it, especially for girls who often are made to feel like their body is inadequate um, through the media, especially now that um, a lot of movies and TV are getting kind of like really sexual so um they should be able to feel okay that their body like one breast is bigger than the other or you know that they don't all look the same so that's what i think um so yeah that's the end of my review thank you for watching um i hope all you go and buy this book it's really really nice um and it's really easy to read it's a quick read and very informative and very helpful so Yes. Um, I will see you all next week. Next week I'll be back home. I will not be in the dorm anymore. Um, and I will probably review the Narnia series, which is incredibly different from what I just reviewed. So um, I'll probably do two um, in an episode, like one radio recording. So um, if you guys have any other, other, I can't speak today any other suggestions of books you'd like me to review please let me know because it's the summer and i will be reading books like crazy so um yeah i'm now reading the last book in the narnia series because i never read it um so yeah let me know um have a great week anybody who's going through finals best of luck i feel your pain i've got the crazy hair and i will see you all next week bye